Welcome to the example. My name is Davin. In this video, me and my friend Micah visit the historic campus of Tuskegee University. Here we gain insight on our next generation's understanding of objective and subjective morality. Are there any moral truths that everyone ought to learn? Like religious ones? Well, it could be religious, could be anything. Is there any moral absolutes? Like, it's not that's kind of deep. Oh, yeah. I'm like, uh, look, we both stuck. Mm. It's like, so, all right, well, let me give you That's a yes or no. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 let me help you out there. Let me help you out. Let me give you a clue. Let me give you a clue. Yes or no? Oh, yeah. There's certain things that are right and then some things are wrong in any situation. Okay. Cool. All right. So, and then there was the next one. How do you determine? How do you determine what is right and wrong in your life? Well, obviously by how I was raised. Yeah, I was just about to say that. You know, it's all about how you were raised and how your parents teach you what's right and what's wrong. I mean, some people might look at it differently. <laughs> some people might look at it differently, but it's all it all depends on that person, you know, and how they take the situation or how I take take the. I think some things can be certainly justified because some people were raised in a certain way and then they might think that something that the majority of people would think is wrong, they might think it was right just by how they were brought up. So I certainly think that some things can be justified by your upbringing, but for a majority of some, like, people usually know what's right and what's wrong. Okay. Same for you to so you Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's kind of, uh, okay. she's putting it in a better way. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I'm going to jump to, like, Bible. So I'm going to say, uh, so God is, for Christians, God is the moral standard. The Bible is the, um, in the Bible, it gives like the Ten Commandments yeah. and all, a lot of other standards. Um, so with that said, do you think the Bible is a good moral standard that people I, should follow? I think so. But I mean, it's kind of, everybody doesn't, what am I trying to say? It, it depends on how you interpret yeah. the Bible. Because there's some things in the Bible that I, I'm, I'm not going to say I don't agree with, but I do question. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was brought up in a Christian family. So, you know, I do respect the Bible, but I feel like certain, sometimes Christians can, you know, overstep their boundaries when it comes to other religions. Because mm -hmm. I feel like you should still respect other religions. And I know most religions tell you, you know, like, be good to people, you know, be kind to people, show compassion towards people. So, you know. I'm, I feel like I'm a Christian, but certain stuff I do question. I don't think yeah. I question God, but still it's like just being you know, a human being. I do question it. So, okay. Yeah. All, right. All right, and the last question. How How is, um, for example, so, you know, you, like you said, people uh, interpret the Bible in certain mm -hmm. ways. So how has that um, impacted you? Um, so how is a Christian, how they um, interpret the Bible and do things morally? impacted you and then how has you know have you seen christians that uh, what do you think when they don't live to, up to that moral oh, standard that's deep subject. yeah like right. okay so my friend i have a i'm not gonna use her name but i have a friend named shay and her parents were really religious and really really strict religious like when i used to go over her house pray we sit and pray i mean i don't know nothing with praying nothing wrong with it. like i pray all the time but we'll pray for like an hour and all this other stuff. And then she came to college and she's in the beginning, like last year, I'm a sophomore now. Last year, she was doing good. And then this year, it's just like, she just been off the wall. Like, but she, she still like, I don't understand how she was so into it. And now she just like, just threw it to the side. I feel like her parents kind of forced it on her. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's like, you shouldn't just give up your faith completely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, it just kind of blew me. I just feel like Christians have this way of like forcing religion on you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I should, you know, come to myself and do a self evaluation. Like I'm ready to do this, you know, I'm ready to live. Cause you know, I'm still young, but I know a lot of Christians, you know, when you're in church and stuff, 
they can judge you and stuff. Yeah. And, and they say they you, that you're not supposed to, to judge, judge and you feel so out of place. And I know yeah. that's why a lot of my friends don't go to church because they feel like people are just constantly judging them, judging them, looking down on them. It's like, oh, but uh, church is supposed to be a place where I can just come out. Yeah, come know, as you are. But it's like, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't. I get the thing, come as you are. So I, I cannot come to church like this. Yeah. Like, I mean, but that's just tradition though. Cause like yeah. my church, you can't. You're not supposed to dress like that. It's just tradition. But you know, the new generation is changing that anyway. Yeah. So I just feel like if church was more of like a family oriented, more just a comfortable feeling, then more people would come. But church is changing so much and it's becoming so like, oh, this, that, and the other. And I know the the church that my dad goes to, I don't really feel comfortable at that church because the preacher is like really forceful. Yeah. Like, you need to give this yeah. much money. Like, people don't have Yeah, ties, this, you gotta have this, this much time. And, and if, if you miss ties, God's gonna hate you yeah. forever. And I'm like, and then people <laughs> say like, they like, give praise to people who get more money and I don't feel like that's right because then people start to feel like dang you know this is all I could give why is he getting so much praise so he gave a hundred dollars all right now I can only give a dollar you know this is my last so like yeah. I feel like if church is more like a, a equal standard and it wasn't like this person is higher than this person this yeah. person's higher, and then more people will want to go because it'll be more of a comfort feeling it's supposed to be a place that I could just let loose praise God you know in the way I want to praise God you know God knows ultimately anyway before anybody else knows mm -hmm. I feel like if it was more like that the more people would start going to church so that's just okay. my well, I have a question for you because you started talking about your friend Shay yeah. <laughs> but you didn't really mention how that made you feel you mentioned oh, how like, it affected just, her life I just, I didn't, but I how did it make you feel I didn't understand how why, why would she give a perfect like mm -hmm. You, she just totally just said, I'm not going to church anymore I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that but she, she does that here but at home it's all about what her parents want to do Mm. So here she's running around free doing what she wants, but at home it's like mm. this again. So what are, what are you? Are you are you really in it or are you mm. really not? That's what I was like. Mm. So, okay. So. Well, I see your observation of her, but yeah. but how does that impact you in particular? Well, I mean, like, cause I I go to church. Mm -hmm. I mean, I try to go every Sunday, but sometimes mm -hmm. you know, some of them days you just don't make it. So, I mean, like, cause in the beginning we used to go to church every Sunday, mm -hmm. and then like she just gave up on it. So I I feel like. Why would you give up on something that you grew up on, you know? Okay. But, okay. but you can't, I mean, you don't know what. Yeah, like, I don't, you know, can't I don't judge know what her, she been so like. So, yeah, because yeah. yeah. like, I know when I was younger, they used to force church on me, but mm -hmm. I felt like I want to go when I'm ready, yeah. when I feel like, you know, I'm actually living by God, you know. And I mean, nobody's perfect, but still, I feel like, you know, you should be going, at least trying, like, you know. I'm not saying I'm a bad person because I'm a really kind person, but yeah. still, it's just, I want to find the right church. Me, but, like, with church, yeah. like, they used to force it upon me, but then, like, I learned to, like, being in there. Yeah, but you might find like, a good church. I haven't yeah. found a good church that I feel that comfortable yeah. in that just... Because there's some out like here that be out, yeah. outrageous off the wall. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm from California. We're both from California. It was just like, oh, wow. Like, yeah. Man, y'all a long way away. Yeah. yeah.